Now, this whole thing started because I started as a, a trader just like most of you. I, I was actually a contractor. Uh, we did uh, remodeling and decks and porches, sunrooms, that kind of stuff. But I wanted to be a, a day trader, I thought, and so I, I started collecting stuff. And I started trying everything. And I did this for seven years, and I made no traction at all. I got nowhere. And I had an epiphany one day. Uh, I had like 12 monitors of stuff. And it occurred to me one day, I've got all this information. I've got all this stuff. Why can't I trade? Why can't I be successful? What am I doing that's so much different than those people that are successful? Just horrible. And I try and I was trying for seven years. So the epiphany was I'm no more likely to win today, the next trade, than I was seven years ago. So it, it occurred to me that for seven years I was gaining all of this information, this this stuff, I was adding more indicators and more stuff and more stuff and more stuff. And my success rate had not gone up at all. I had a better understanding of what I thought I was doing. But uh, I didn't even know, to be honest, if I even had it in me to be a winning trader. I had never proven it to myself. All I wanted to do, all I kept trying to do was to find that magic, whatever it was, to suddenly turn things around for me. Now, you always get really close. A lot of us have gotten really close to what we think is success, and that's what keeps us doing it. That's what makes us probably stay longer than we should. But I had never proven to myself that I could actually do it. Now, I got close, and sometimes I would do it for a week or two or maybe even a month. I think, okay, I got it. I got this. I got this. And then I'd just lose it all and then some. So all of these things, and I finally, you know, I, I thought I was working at my trading, but it occurred to me I didn't even know if, I was just wasting my time, you know? I didn't know if there's a way to be consistent, and I didn't know if I was even able to do it. So maybe this sounds like some of you, right? So the natural reaction, I mean, this, is, this seems logical, right, is to go out and let's go get some indicators. It's got to be all about indicators because I need information. I need as much information as I can get. So indicators provide information. So if you can just get a lot of information, surely you can start to trade successfully. Or we go out and we say, well, okay, so... A 15-minute chart or a one-hour chart is really not working for me. I read, I heard about this Rinko thing, and boy, does it make a pretty chart. Or somebody says you gotta, uh, you gotta reduce the noise in a chart so you remove the time factor altogether. Uh, and so you're like, oh yeah, that sounds good. And boy, that makes a pretty easy-looking chart there. So I, I think I need to to try one of these different chart types, right? because I haven't been successful with anything else. Or you start looking at all these different style uh, trading systems, you know, that are, that are out there. There's millions of them, got to be millions of them. Or you start thinking about different styles of trading. You know, maybe you were a, a, a swing trader and, and it's just not happening for you. So you decide on, maybe, well, maybe scalping or, or maybe holding, you know, for three or four hours or, you know, you it's just constantly, let's try something else. Let's try something else. Let's try something else. Let's get a signal service. Let's, let's go to trade rooms and chat rooms and other communities. Let's, let's go on YouTube and, and let's 
let's see what the big boys on YouTube, all these successful YouTubers out there that tell us how they're making so much money. Well, how are they making so much money? And I can't seem to make money. So surely they're going to tell me how to do it, right? I just looked at this one a a few minutes ago. In two months, this guy's got 673,000 views because this is what everybody's looking for. This is what you're you're hoping for um, and you think day trading is going to be. So that's why these people make these outrageous claims because they're going to loop you in because that's what we think day trading is and that's what we want from it, okay? We have unrealistic expectations. Well, here's what else happens. Those expectations you start noticing are, are not happening for you. You find that you are unable to trade like a machine or manage your emotions or whatever. So the next, what seems like logical step, is to remove yourself from the responsibility of being a good trader. And let's just get an auto trader. Let's look into auto trading, which is one of the most searched terms uh, about trading is auto trading, okay? Using a, 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 a bot to trade for you, okay? Huge interest in that, which, and it seems logical, okay? But just a little short note here. Uh, they don't work, then they never will. And if they did, we'd all be using them, right? But they they only work for short periods of time and then the market adjusts and it stops working. And so uh, I'm an anti-auto trader person, which really upsets the people that are trying desperately to use auto traders because they don't want to hear me say that. Okay? So here's the thing. We keep telling ourselves to try something different. But we just keep trying different flavors of the same thing. Okay, I got to try something different. Let's try a different chart type. I got to try something different. Let's try these other indicators. I got to try something different. But it's all the same thing, and we keep doing it over and over and over again and getting the same results. Okay? We're getting close. We find value in a lot of this stuff. But what has happened is we're not um, uh, we're not proving to ourselves. Go back to the what I said earlier. We haven't proven to ourselves at any point in time that we can be a winning trader, that it's even in you, okay? that you're the type of person that can be a winning trader. So let's do a a quick illustration. All right, so let's take a quick couple of minutes to consider your trading path and how you may have gotten here without even knowing it. So I tend to use a lot of analogies in describing these aspects of day trading that I'm trying to describe. Um, And I'm, I'm doing this because sometimes it's difficult for people to understand the reasons for their behavior and why they've not been able to be successful at day trading. So I like to try to use analogy to maybe put some of these reasons into focus. Okay, so let's say you're going out to buy a house. Okay, and so what's the first thing you look at in a house? When you're where you're going to buy a house, you pull up and. This is what you see. It's curb appeal, right? Oh, I like this house. This is a nice house, okay? And then you go, okay, well, the criteria for me is it's got to have a great kitchen for entertaining. Or or it's got to have a, a real fun backyard for entertaining your family or whatever. Um, or, or you've always dreamed of having a nice porch. This is the kind of stuff when I said I'm a contractor. This, these are the kind of additions that we did. Um, so you got to have a nice porch or the master bathroom is the main criteria or a big walk-in closet. Okay. So what's the same here? All of those things you would say are different, right? They're different, but they're not. They're all the same. 
They appeal to you because of what you can see. Okay, it looks perfect, but there are things about this these houses or these rooms um, that are not perfect and will never be, because potentially this house could have been built on a faulty foundation. Now, the foundation of the house. You can relate that to the foundation of your trading career, what you came into trading with, what you assume and believe about trading, your approach to trading, and your approach to fix your trading, okay? So we've got this foundation on this house, and but we've got a, a, a bad roof, and the roof keeps leaking. Um, and so you go and you go, you spend a ton of money, you keep trying to fix the roof, and over time the roof starts leaking again, and you fix the roof, and the roof starts leaking again, and you're like, man, what is going on with this roof? Or doors stop fitting right. You know, you can't get a door to shut right, or or the deck starts to fall off the house, or the gutters start to fall off the house, or, you know, stuff just starts happening to the house, and then you start seeing cracks develop, and windows that won't open and close and you keep going and trying to fix all this stuff just like you keep trying to fix all of your trading problems by by adding more stuff getting more stuff doing more reading watching more videos going to more webinars so you keep trying to fix the problem but the problem will never be fixed if you don't fix where the problem is starting from, this house will always be a wreck until you fix the foundation. So will your trading career. Okay. Now, if you think, oh man, that seems like a lot. I love this saying, Abraham Lincoln, that, that some people, that some people achieve great success is proof to all that others can achieve it as well. We have a lot of people who has exhibited success with our with our trading, and and it started with this notion of two ticks to paradise. Okay, so don't worry about making money. Worry about whether you can establish establish yourself as a winning trader. Okay. And, and here's one of my favorite sayings that I say, not losing is almost as good as winning. So going into trading every day, you want to have a defensive position. Most of us only think about, I need to place trades to win money. Okay. And think about it and be honest with yourself. Don't you sit down going, I need to place trades to win money. Very seldom do we say, I need to make sure I have a good trading system that keeps me out of trades and keeps me out of the market as much as possible. Because that's a very scary, dangerous place to have your money. So not losing, if you've been a trader for any period of time, you appreciate this saying because winning feels really good. Not losing feels almost as good when you get kicked in the teeth constantly, when you're constantly losing, when you just can't get any traction. All right, so I started thinking because I wanted to be out of the market as much as possible, but more importantly, I wanted to prove to myself that I could be a winning trader. I had to find out. And so how do you do that? Well, what is winning? Let's define winning. Winning is anything above losing or nothing. You know, of course, you could sit there and do nothing, which is almost as good as winning. But what is being a winning trader? That's winning one or two ticks, right? That's a win. If you ended the day Having won one or two ticks, you're a winning trader. 
So I started thinking that within a couple of ticks, I generally can tell when price was gonna would bounce, even if just a little bit. But mostly, I would watch. I had been watching charts for seven years. I'd been studying charts for a long time, and I got to a point where I realized, you know, I'm pretty good. I I can I can kind of figure what price is going to do a couple three ticks, um, but then after that, I didn't know. Well, I didn't want, I didn't really care about two or three ticks because that's not the type of trading I was trying to do at the time. I was being told that to make any kind of money at all, you had to have 10, 15, 20 tick trades. And, and that's what I believed. But I started rethinking that whole thing. So I had been watching just regular old floor trader pivot support and resistance lines, and I'd been watching them so long. I felt like I knew how price could be moving into these lines and, it, and when it moves in at a certain way, price is going to react to those regular old floor trader pivots. And so that's kind of where I started the whole thing. And I decided if I could just get two ticks a day and stop, how would that affect me personally? All right now, nobody's guaranteed of anything. There are no guarantees in trading, and I'm telling you right now, this is an exercise to help you understand and believe that you can be a winning trader. But you have, to, I can't, I can't sell you confidence. You're going to have to earn it, and this is how you're going to earn it. Okay. But I did start playing this kind of this game in my head. If if I could be guaranteed two winning ticks per day, what would be my income limiting factors? And it would only be how many contracts could I get filled on a particular instrument and how much money I could trade and how many hours a day I could do it. Those would be my only income limiting factors, which the market really doesn't have anything to do with about except for the number of contracts that it'll allow or, you know, it'll fill very you know, easily. So I felt like I, I should at least try to prove to myself and rebuild this faulty foundation and create a foundation of being a winning trader. All right, so it, 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 I was intrigued by the notion. So I thought, now where am I going to find these two ticks for sure? So after having watched support and uh, resistance levels, you know, the floor trader pivots and how price reacts to them under certain conditions, I felt pretty sure I could guess that price was going to re react at least a couple of ticks. Right, so I'm putting in these floor trader pivots, and then I would watch. Now, I didn't try to develop this by looking at static charts like what you're seeing right here, right now. This no charts. This chart's not moving. This is just a picture of a chart. Okay, you cannot develop a trading system, at least in my experience, using static charts, which is what most of us try to do. We try to like scroll through and see if we see anything and keep adding indicators to see if it does anything and, you know, and then if, see if something jumps out at us. That was my experience and I missed a lot. So the idea is to put these on live and put it and, and use replay data and the playback uh, utility of the connection in NinjaTrader. And you can do this very quickly, but it's a very enlightening to see how price reacts when it hits one of these lines. It's hard to tell from a, a, an image like this, but man, it's so obvious if you watch it in real time. Now, we all know the markets are driven by data, right? So that's what everybody's all about, using technical indicators to measure data. Can you guys, who are, you're all sitting there very quietly, thank you very much, but can you tell me where the data comes from? I mean, what is the, what is actually being measured? 
to come up with the data. Does anybody know? I'm not going to drag this up. Um, that is part of the data that is provided. But what creates supply and demand? You're close. What creates supply and demand, Sean? Not price. Perception. Thank you, Hovick. Thoughts, feelings, and emotions move the markets. <laughs> Yay, Keith. <laughs> you better know this. <laughs> Data is collected from the movements and then compare to other data that happened previously so that we can anticipate what the markets might do next. So all you're seeing when the markets are moving is a reaction to thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Now, is that enlightening to anybody here? Or do you go, oh, yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's right. But, you know, did, to me, that was a very enlightening epiphany that I had, that these thoughts, feelings, and emotions are what actually move the market, and then everything else is a reaction to that. All right, so I've decided support and resistance levels is the thing. But how am I going to do that? The, the decision was to take advantage of traders that don't know the markets and our emotions are always being manipulated or when it's happening. And if I could do that, it's an advantage. What is the only thing you need to be a successful trader? An advantage. And we've found one trading the way we trade, but you need to work up to that. Yeah, Dennis, it'll be out this evening. We will send you a recording. So there is nothing else that we should be looking for in day trading other than an advantage. Every time you put on a new indicator, you're looking for an advantage. Every time you read a, a, a forum, you're looking for an advantage. You watch a video, you're looking for an advantage. We have an advantage. Now, let me explain it to you. So we've got a whole bunch of people here, right? Let's say this is the market as a whole, okay? So based on what this crowd is doing, can I look at them and read as a group, as a group, what are they likely to do next? to the point where I have a decisive edge every time. We got people walking in both directions, so there's buyers and sellers, and everything's just kind of happening. But as a group, does do I see anything specific is about to happen that gives me an edge? How many thoughts, feelings, and emotions? Remember, that's what I said. That's what's moving the market. How many thoughts, feelings, and emotions or combinations of thoughts, feelings, and emotions are we seeing here? Millions or billions? Way too many for us to have an advantage of knowing what's likely to happen next. So instead of those people, what if we looked at a smaller group and we, we now try to anticipate their thoughts, feelings, and emotions based on something unexpected, okay? How many of this group of people, how many thoughts, feelings, and emotions at that instant? They're, Probably they're, they're afraid of getting hurt. 
They want to protect themselves from harm. And that's about it. Now, without even seeing what happened after this, I know how these people reacted after this. I don't have a video of this. But you should know also, if you watch people, if that bat didn't, you know, hurt somebody seriously and ended up just hitting the ground, what happens next? All you need to know is what happens next. This is what we do in the trade room. This is what our system does. This is, and this is what the two tick thing will get, get you to. Their hands go down. That's it. I just read the future. All of their hands, uh, where their hands are up, I know what they're going to do next. Their, their hands are going to go down, and then they're all going to kind of chuckle and laugh because they were all so scared and, you know, nervous. And five minutes from now, when, when you know, a lot of, when day trading, you know, five minutes, you, you, you're, you're sitting and waiting and waiting and waiting to figure out what these people are going to do. Hell, half of them going to the bathroom. They're going to get a beer. They're talking to each other. I don't know what they're doing. But I know what they're doing right after this, and that's what we do, and that's our edge. So instead of trying to learn to figure out these complex algorithms that is trying to understand and quantify our thoughts, feelings, and emotions, uh, that's, a, that's a little much for me. I could people watch. Because that's easy. I've been doing that my whole life. And so have you. So let's go back to the two ticks. Remember, we're trying to we're trying to help you create a foundation of being a winning trader. So I start looking and I start wondering, you know, why? For no apparent reason, does price stop and change directions? Do you ever wonder that? Do you ever wonder why after, you know, a, a run like this, and then all of a sudden it stopped cold and shifted and changed directions? Well, there's got to be information in each of those bars just prior to the direction change that might tell us that it's about to happen. So there's the aha. Rather than trying to anticipate what a big crowd is going to do over a long period of time, I'm going to anticipate what a crowd will do immediately after a sudden and unexpected event. So when you see something that looks like this, I see a crowd reacting predictably to a stimulus and I know what they are likely to do next. And that's our pullback trading system. Okay. And if you want to know more about it and what these indicators do and what they're telling us, we'll show you on Saturday. So make sure you go to the, the links in the, um, if you're here in the room in the event with us, it's in the uh, chat. If you're watching it on video, uh, look down in the description and you'll find the links there. All right, so you guys heard of, of uh, Richard w Wyckoff, right? I say Wyckoff and people have, have corrected me and said Wyckoff and I'm still not sure which one it is. The study of responses is an almost unerring guide to the technical position of the market. Study of responses. What is that? <laughs> it's people watching. Even Wyckoff said it back in 1910. If you can study how people and the markets react to a stimulus, then you have a perfect guide on what to do next. Okay? So, two ticks to paradise. Let's talk about that. That's what a lot of you came here for, but I wanted to make sure you had the foundation to understand what this is all about. 
Two ticks to paradise. Now, this is a challenge that you can do. Okay? So this is what you're going to do. You're going to, first, you got to start with the basics of a, of a simple trading system. Okay? That's what we have. Um, you could use any simple trading system. The ones we're using works really good. Okay? So you want to start with that. Second, you're going to win two ticks net for the trading session. Um, if you get your two ticks, it, you stop trading live, you start trading in SIM. Now, I don't recommend anybody trade live until you're ready to trade live. So what you can do, especially inside of NinjaTrader, you can create two different SIM accounts. Call one SIM live and one SIM SIM. Okay, you can create those. So sim live are the are the trades that count, and what you want to do is watch that sim live account grow. Once you have hit your your two ticks, you switch from the sim live account to the sim sim account. Now, everything you do from that point on is practice. Doesn't matter. You still want to trade the same way you still want to be working at your trading. But everything that happens after you put your two tick winner in the bank is just working at your trading. After that, oh, so you quit the live sim or the, the sim live account. So then you got a goal to see how many consecutive days you can end the trading session as a winner in our trader rx program um it is 10 you're shooting for 10 consecutive days to end the session as a winner once you hit your goal then go for three ticks and do it the same do the same thing and eventually you can start increasing your contracts had somebody tell me this was hard to read at an angle like that. So I put it up so you can see it here. So you're going to start with a, the basics of a trading, a simple system. You're going to win two ticks net for the trading session. Did I say use like a three or four tick stop? Don't, don't give it much uh, in the way of a stop. If you don't get your two ticks um, and you take a three or four tick stop, well, now you got to eventually work your way up to a five tick win. Okay. And you won't do it every day. But you'll start to gain some consistency. And with that comes confidence. Which is exactly what this whole thing is about. It's about building your confidence. Now, I would love to be able to sell you confidence. The only way. For you to obtain confidence is to earn it yourself, okay? Now, are you going to make a living with just two ticks? No, no, that's not the point. The point is you have to start and build the foundation before you start trading to actually make a living at day trading, or at least a you know an income, and you don't need to do it with real money. And if you're trading with real money now, and you're not a consistently confident trader, please stop. You're not going to suddenly stumble into success, even though you want to, even though you're hoping to, even though you're telling yourself. I can't uh, be a, a day trader unless I'm trading. So I must be trading. I must do it. And you sit there and, and maybe you're, you're trying some new system and you say, well, I'm supposed to wait until this, this, this happens. And then you sit there for an hour and you go, well, nothing's happening, but I see price moving. So other people are trading. So I should be trading too. I, I'm going to, I'm going to just get in on a trade and see what happens. Okay. We all do it. We've all done it. 
Nothing good happens, by the way. So we're working on the two ticks to paradise is all about building confidence and building that foundation or rebuilding that foundation that you have that about day trading that is severely faulty. All right. So after building confidence that I could anticipate, you know, one or two ticks, I decided to look at a few more ticks to see if I had close to the same edge as I did with just a couple. And it got up to around five ticks and then uh, it didn't feel like I had the same edge. Some people in that trade with us will go even up to 10 ticks, but I still hang around at like five. That's my target. I want to get in and out as quickly as I can. So the after five, I felt like the whole thing became a bit more speculative. Um, but after doing some quick, easy math and deducting fees, I didn't see huge money, but I saw a solution. So why have I been trying so hard to win so many ticks every day? You know, and, and stay in the markets. Do you think the big money wants you to stay in the markets uh, for a long time? You bet they do. Yeah, that's how they're going to get your money. If you're in and out, how are they going to get your money? So you start looking at this, you're just like, okay, I'm not going to get rich at this, but it's a lot better than what I've been doing. So think of it this way. If you saved eight bucks a day, you've just saved $3,000 in a year. Or if you read 20 pages a day, you've read 30 books in a year. Or if you walk 10,000 steps a day, you've done the equivalent of 70 marathons in a year. So what I'm trying to say is never underestimate the power of small habits or just the power of small, period. Consistency is where it all comes from. You're not going to go out and try to do 70 marathons. But if you break it up into tiny bite-sized chunks, you can do it. Right? So let's look at this. This is this is a very typical chart. And you could open up any chart. You'll see it looks like this. So we've got these areas where we see some strong momentum. See, we have a channel. And then we have strong momentum, but these bars are getting bigger than the previous bars. And then at one at some point, we this this gets a bit exhausted, and price pulls back. You know, it gets exhausted because people start taking profits here, and then price pulls back, and then it starts drifting in a channel again, and it takes off again. So we've got this strong momentum, and then this very high velocity bar, and the strong potential for exhaustion has now uh, set in. And where we can expect price to change directions. Okay. This is what we do every day. This is our advantage. All right. So we add our indicators. We have our support and resistance lines. We have our momentum indicator, which is the bars going from black to uh, almost white color. That's our momentum. Then we have our overbought indicator, which is this pink outline. If it was oversold, it would be like a bluish outline. We have our major lines of support and resistance. And then we have our rock star, which is by far our most popular indicator. But it's really only, I mean, it, it works best if you're ready for that to print on the open of this bar. That's what it does. Is it prints on the open of the current bar. But we were ready for a trade setup because all of these other conditions exist. So we're looking at a confluence of conditions. So right here and right here is the same as that. It's, it's a sudden and unexpected event that nobody's ready for. In fact, 
most people aren't even looking for it, and we know what's going to happen next. Okay? And that's all we need. It's an advantage. All right, so does it really work? Does it work? Well, let's take a look. So we've got a uh, a member of our trade room who uh, used to be a uh, budget analyst for a big corporation, and he's all about numbers. He loves numbers. He loves collecting numbers. He likes comparing numbers. And he surprised me back in 2020 with every trade taken in the trade room he had kept track of. So he's been doing it ever since. and. Um, I want you to understand before I even show you these, that these results are from experienced traders that trade our system. We're not promising you. Remember I said at the beginning, I'm not promising you anything, but I'm just telling you the results that are collected from our trade room. But you have to work at this for a long time, all right? And you have to work hard at it. The nice thing is, is we teach you what to work at, how to work at it, and we give you tools to work at it with, okay? So here's the data um, that has been collected over those years. And there's a bunch of numbers there, and if you're watching this on video, you can pause it and you can study this and write it all down or whatever. But it boils down to a almost 80% win rate. which is uh, about $151,000. And this is on for a single contract. If you say, if you were trading a single contract that whole time, you know, we're looking at 151,000, but if you're trading like five contracts, you know, is that a reasonable over four years? Is that a, a reasonable expectation or something that you might hope you'd be able to do with day trading? Saturday, I'm going to go into a lot more detail. Today was just kind of an overview of our trading system and where you can get those two ticks and how you can start doing that two tick challenge to prove to yourself that you can be a winning trader. If you're still looking for an advantage, a system with an edge, we'd like to offer ours to you. Come Saturday, we'll show you what it does. We'll show you how we trade it, why we trade it, and we'll try, we'll show you wins and losses and tell you, you know, kind of what's going on and why we have that edge, okay? So please come on Saturday. Now, for those of you that are here or even if you're watching it on video, we do have a special. Any one of our programs, you can take um, 20% off. Just use that uh, two ticks, 20 off coupon code. And uh, it, or send us, a, if you got any questions, if you ever want to upgrade, that's always one of the questions. If I want to, if I want to do the extra income and then upgrade to the pro trader, can I do that? Yes. And it's a hundred percent credited to an upgrade. Just so, just so you know. All right, everybody, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for coming, and hopefully we'll see you all very soon. Bye now.